G'day, I'm Joey and welcome to Big Review TV. On this week's episode of Big Escapes, we go off the beaten track to explore some rustic retreats that offer a true escape from the world. Join us as Rupert discovers a homely B&B privately tucked away in a tranquil rainforest-like setting. I discover an historic lodge in the picturesque surrounds of the Yarra Valley, while Ali escapes to the banks of the Murray River. First up though, Andre gets off the grid, quite literally, in the remote and stunning shores of the Florio Peninsula. Hey everyone, it's Andre from Big Review TV and welcome to the King's Beach Retreats here on the Fleurio Peninsula. Now we're going to head inside, have a look around at this beautiful accommodation and great location and see what this place has to offer. The King's Beach Retreats are a true escape on the Fleurio Peninsula and it's only 90 minutes from the city of Adelaide. is a beautiful wilderness hidden spot that most people don't know exists and for it to be only an hour from Adelaide is, is quite spectacular. So it's really a, a wilderness retreat that is surprisingly accessible and very close to Victor Harbour which is only 10 minutes away. This is all about what it feels like inside the space. We bring the outdoors in and the indoors out and the buildings are snuggled into the landscape so they're not dominant. And I think that's what people appreciate. That really works for them because they can commune with nature. Now the different types of retreats offer beautiful accommodation, scenic conservatories and a true connection to nature with the sea and beaches, the trails and the rugged landscape a step out of your door. The next time you're planning a wedding or a corporate event, be sure to be in contact with the Kings Beach Retreats to plan your next getaway. With its rainforest-like backdrop, providing a private setting and its luxurious rooms, Ocean Blue Resort is sure to help you relax, unwind and escape. As we make our way down this little rainforest tropical path, we're heading to Ocean Blue B&B today. Let's go say good day to Ian, check it out. It is absolutely a, an ex escape for people that um, maybe have busy lives, um, they don't want to spend hours in a car travelling from Sydney or from Canberra, um, but they do need a break and they want to spend that time together. You have the Beachcomber Suite, which is the highest um, suite in the house. It has a, uh, a master bedroom with a king-size bed, uh, a spa bathroom, and then a sitting room so that you can retreat to and, and relax. Come down a couple of levels, you have the Sandpiper Suite, which is on the ground floor of the house. It um, has a larger lounge room, a queen-size bedroom, and a pretty awesome um, spa bathroom with a, a living vertical garden to try and blend the whole house in with nature and the great surrounds that we have. It's, it's my home, it's a beautiful place to live, and I want to continue sharing it with people for as many years as I possibly can. Well, the beach coma is my favorite room and the perfect place for your next little trip away out of the Sydney area. Come check out Ocean Blue B&B. See you next time.
This historic property, lovingly restored by owner Kim after the Black Saturday fires tore through it, offers travellers who stay a relaxing escape in a peaceful bush setting. Now this has got to be one of the most beautiful regions of Victoria, here in the lovely Yarra Valley where there's a really strong sense of community here. Now when you drive on into the Saddle Inn Lodge, you're going to notice Pretty much you can pull out your camera wherever you like and get a stunning photo, especially here we've got the lake behind us where you can literally cast out with your rod and if you happen to catch a trout then Kim who facilitates the lodge here says she's going to cook it herself for you. How good is this though? A glass of wine here from the Arrow Valley, taste of the region here on the plate in front of me but let's head on inside and see what else there is. You can sit alongside on the couch there, get involved in a puzzle with your kids and your family. You can head on upstairs and use what acts as a bit of a rompers space. There's a kids corner, a meeting room for all your business affairs and they have a wide range of bed and breakfast options which is all sourced from local produce when it comes to breakfast time. Started in early 1900s and the first man to drive a car over the Black Spur came to Saladin Lodge, so it's got a, a tremendous history, which is brilliant. So sadly with Black Saturday, it uh, wiped out this property. So I thought, well, I know I've lost a lot of the trees and that's sort of really quite sad, but you just think, well, you know, it's going to recover, so you're going to recover. So it'll change colour and so will you. And keep building this. So um, got finished with the lodge. And that was around about 2011 when I finally finished, so I had something which I could offer, so I finally had guests in 2011. So whether you're bringing your family, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, highly encourage that you get in touch with these guys, even if it's just calling in for a quick cup of coffee on the side of the highway. We'll see you soon. For anyone who's ever wanted to sleep on the Murray River, but without getting wet, Bill's Boathouse is the place for you. Well, this is sure to float your boat. As soon as you cross the bridge here into Bill's Boathouse, a whole wave of peacefulness just washes over your entire body. Now, from the beautiful views of the river right from your bed to showering next to the ducks, this eco-friendly abode is to die for. It's a gorgeous experience to be able to, to, to get away from the ordinary everyday life and, and put a rod in the water and relax. Bill's was a, a little slice of paradise that we wanted people to be able to, to get away from the normal everyday life and to be creative and be themselves and to be a part of nature. And it's, it, it, it's gorgeous to be able to have a a hot bath outside under the stars and, and, and light the fire and, and sit in the bean bags and, or the hammock and, and go for a, a kayak in the morning. It's, it's all about the experience here. You can snuggle up on the couch inside or you can enjoy front row views of Mother Nature right here on the deck. The best part about it though is that there's no rush. You can come and enjoy by yourself or with that someone special and take as long as you need. People want to stay. Once they stop, they don't want to leave. Because we've got to do something for ourselves. You know, it's so fast out there. And all we're trying to do is, is get people to stop, take a breath, find out who they really want to be again, and then enjoy it and relax and enjoy the company that they're with. Keep watching Big Review TV for future episodes of Big Escapes where we take you to our favourite places. We'll see you next time.